On Sunday, the 26th of October 2009, James Parks was brutally assaulted by up to 20 people outside the Superstar Boudoir in Stanley Street, Liverpool. He suffered multiple skull fractures and was left in a critical but stable condition in hospital, according to police reports. During the following seven days, an unprecedented level of support against homophobic hate crime gave rise to a candlelight vigil held the following Sunday. GBC Television UK Limited and GayPrideDVD.com are proud to be able to show you every word, every emotion and every wish heard by the thousands of people who turned up to offer their support. Homophobic hate crime cannot and will not be tolerated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Buckley. I have the great honour of being your MC tonight. May I also introduce Jamie and his friend, who are going to interpret for us. If we can just take a moment to thank you all so much for your support and coming here tonight to stand united in our lack of tolerance of any form of hate crime. This evening's event is about removing hatred and homophobic behaviour in today's so-called advanced society. Only together we can achieve this. Tonight, Liverpool, you should be so proud of yourselves. Anyway, there's a list of people wanting to speak, so let's introduce our first guest speaker, Thomas, who is James' partner. First off, I'd like to start off by saying a massive thank you for all your support by being here. And a thank you to Mayside Police for all the inquiries they have made so far. The amount of support James, myself and our families have received have been so overwhelming. This time last week I never thought to be standing here saying all this. The reason I am here tonight is to stand up for not only what I believe in, but what we all believe in. And to push for our right to freedom in the gay community. The attack which happened last week was such a massive shock to the nation and surely it's got to be the final straw. No matter whether we are straight, gay, lesbian or transgender, it should make no difference. It's what's inside that counts. Myself along with a lot of other people are wishing James a fast and speedy recovery to perceive in the career he's wanted to do since he was a boy which is to be a serving police officer, to get back out onto our streets, helping with situations like this. I'd like to finish off with saying another massive thank you to the people who have helped organise this vigil and the march which will be taking place on a later date. After my count, can you please have a massive cheer for James, safe recovery and bravery. Thank you very much. Our next speaker tonight is Emma Louise Stewart. She's organising the forthcoming Liverpool March Against Homophobia. Please welcome Emma to the stage, please. Sorry, I'm kind of lost. <laughs> 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 Thanks for the great 
questions are. I just wanted to say thanks so much for coming out tonight. I really hope to see all of you at the march on the 22nd. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Anna. Our next speaker tonight will be Labour Councillor Nick Small, who's a local councillor for this area. We could have a round of applause, please. Thank you. I'm really pleased to be here tonight to speak to so many people as one of the local councillors for Liverpool City Centre and on behalf of the City Council's Labour Group. The attack last Sunday here in Stanley Street on James Parks was a shocking reminder, if ever one was needed, that homophobia and hatred still exist in our city. That in the 21st century, a person can be attacked and left for dead just because of their sexuality. Sunday should remind us that despite the fact that Liverpool has changed for the better, and tonight's turnout demonstrates that, we all need to remain vigilant and maintain our outrage at all forms of hatred. I've been working over the last few years with the City Council, the LGBT community and the private sector to officially recognise the Stanley Street area as Liverpool's gay quarter, to better support those businesses here in Stanley Street, to attract new private sector investment here and to make this area a safer part of town to go out in. The fight has to continue now more than ever after what happened last week. Now is the time to get behind the campaign for Liverpool Escape Quarter. In solidarity with James, his partner, his family and friends, in defiance of his attackers. Now is the time for gay and straight, young and old, men and women, to stand tall and say, Not in our name, not in Liverpool's name. Speaking next is a familiar face to the Liverpool gay team. Could you all give a warm welcome to Mr. Martin Fennerty on behalf of the Liverpool Armistead Centre? Hello everyone. As a gay man who works in the Armistead Centre with the lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community of Merseyside, I'm privileged to have been asked to speak to you tonight. We are all here tonight at the heart of the local gay community to show support for a young man who was brutally attacked on the basis of of his sexuality, to show support for his partner, family and friends, and to stand in solidarity against hate crime and homophobia. The Armistead Centre is a service provided by NHS Liverpool Community Health, and it's worked in partnership with Merseyside Police tackling homophobia for over 12 years. Hate crime and homophobia is a significant matter of public health for the gay community. Homophobia blights people's lives, undermining personal safety, restricting economic and employment prospects, impacting on mental health and well-being, and in the extreme, resulting in physical harm and death. Twenty years ago, a great man fighting for the rights of people with HIV said silence equals death. As a community, we need to break our silence and speak out about homophobia and hate crime. Challenging prejudice of all forms, using our friends and the police to report the homophobia we experience and witness every day. I am a gay man, out and proud. Tonight I am proud in the gay community in Liverpool and Merseyside and our friends who are refusing to hide in the face of prejudice and brutality. Thank you. 